What's up y'all? Welcome back to the channel. So today I want to talk about how fear can be one of your biggest downfalls. It can kill dreams, it can stop you from pursuing a career, it can stop you from talking to a person that you like. Yeah, all that. Now me, I grew up in the hood, very poor background. My confidence was pretty low, all that, you know, throughout my life. Uh, but when I hit 17, I started to grow into my looks. And women started to notice me. When I turned 18, I got my first place through a program which was, they pay half your rent for a year. So basically I was paying 350 a month for rent. So I felt like I was on top of the world, you know? Um, I had my own place at 18. Um, my confidence was built, so I, you know, felt like I could talk to anybody, felt like I could do what I want. I wasn't rich per take or anywhere close to it, but you know, I was living my best life at the time. Fast forward, I get into a relationship for three years, stuff doesn't work out, confidence goes down again, boom. And then I start living my life in fear. A lot of stuff happened in between those years where I lost my place and had to move back in with my mom and my confidence was just taking hits and hits and hits. And this is an unconfidence video, I'm just trying to give you a gist of it. And fear start building up. Fear to take a step into a new career. Fear to talk to a beautiful woman I see. Fear to do something new, go on a new opportunity. Stuff was coming my way, but I let fear hold me back. And with you in life, you can't let fear stop you from doing what you wanna do in life. Yes, it's scary to quit your job and move halfway across the country to a new place you've never been before. Yes, it's scary to start new, start fresh. Yes, it's scary to, I'm not even gonna front, like talk to a new woman. Every time I talk to a, a, a beautiful girl, you know, I got a little fear in me, you know. I'm, I, I, that first step when I walk up to her and start talking to her, I, I get a little, uh, it's not like scary, like oh, my life's in danger, but sometimes I don't even make the move to go talk to her because I let fear cloud my thoughts like oh man don't go talk to her don't man what if she has a boyfriend what if you know or I want to do something new with my life partake move to a new state move out of my hometown I let fear talk me out of that now I'm not saying it's off the table I just extended my lease for another six months but once that lease is done I gotta fight fear again I gotta I gotta tell I gotta beat fear down look we're doing this whether you like it or not we're doing this you have to do this. You can't let fear run your life. You gotta be able to overcome fears. This ain't no like rah rah, yeah man, chase, chase your fears. But if you live your life fearing of the unknown, how do you expect to grow in life? You're just gonna be like this little shell, you know, just sitting in, sitting in the same spot, not growing at all, wondering about the unknown. The world is a big place, but the only way you can get to experience those things is if you take that leap of faith and stop living your life in fear. Stop worrying about what's going to happen here if I don't if if I do this. Yes, you're going to have some failures. Man, I got so many failures. <laughs> I failed so many times. I'm not perfect. You've seen a lot of my failures on the channel, and if you're new here, check them out. But that's part of life. You fail, get back up. You fail, you get back up. You fail, you get back up. You go this way, you go that way, you go that way, and you just keep trying. Keep trying, keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. Don't let fear stop you from doing what you want to do. New things are always going to be scary. I remember the first time I went skydiving, man. And I will never do this again. This is just an example because that's literally like playing with your life. If you haven't seen my skydiving video, the editing sucks. This was before I really knew how to edit. But uh, the editing sucks, but it's on my channel. Go through the multiple videos. I was scared out of my mind. We're riding on the plane. You're up how many feet you're up? Whatever, uh, I forgot, 150 feet or something, something like, I don't know. Way up in the air, you know? The house, everybody, everything looks like ants. That's how far you're up. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking like, oh man. We get to the door and I'm ready to jump out and he's counting down and I just jump and you're just sitting there floating thinking about life. Wind's blowing and it was like an adrenaline rush. I'm not 
telling you to go skydive because <laughs> like I said before I will never do this again in my life because it's literally playing with your life the plane could go down the parachute could not open um, you could run into a tree some you know it's like a 50-50 uh, chance you don't live they even make you sign a disclaimer so you can't sue them <laughs> but I did it and once I did it it wasn't so scary I was like damn I just jumped out of a plane and where I'm going with this video is sometimes in life you got to take those risks you got to take those risks you got to face your fears because facing your fears can be the best thing for you if you don't like your job quit if you want to go talk to that person you're attracted to talk to them yes they might turn you down yes when you quit your job shit might go south but that's part of life you live and you learn or here's the alternative you can just live your life in fear and and wonder what if Mm, what if I did that? What if I did that? And then when you're 60, 70, 80 years old, you know, old as hell, a um, bunch of health problems, or maybe you're healthy, lived a life, healthy lifestyle, you can look back and wonder, like, what if? If you watch, like, I watch, like, uh, old people's, like, retirement, like, regrets and stuff, it's a lot of stuff they regret not doing. Why not take that risk? Why not say F fear? I mean, the fear's always gonna be there, but you can overrun the fear. You can you're in control of what you do in life. Appreciate you guys for watching. I love all the comments, so leave a comment what you think about this video. Like and subscribe if you're new here, and if you liked the video, took some value from it, like it, and maybe share it with somebody else that you think might need to see this. Peace.